So it's finally here, it's time to finish Season 1 of Review Starlight. Now, after this, there's only the OVAs, the first movie and the second movie left, and then we're done with the series. So I'm probably gonna be posting the poll for which music anime should be replacing it, uh, probably tomorrow. So you still have time to recommend any new ones. Um, probably World Die Star seems to be like a big, big contender alongside the previous ones from the previous poll that I already did. So I'll see what we will do tomorrow. Anyways, in the previous episode of Revy Starlight, we had an absolute wow, wow. What an emotional episode it was. I, I, don't, I was watching it and I just felt, it just felt completely like emotional. I was, it was so weird watching it, you know? It didn't feel like anything extremely sad was happening, but it just felt extremely emotional. The OSD, the voice acting, oh, Karen just screaming out for Hikari. Oh, that was a beautiful scene. Karen just running towards Hikari, screaming her name. Oof, that was a, cra a crazy scene, man. Um, and now we know that Hikari is also imprisoned in the tower for her sins of, I guess, making a wish or grabbing a star. Since they are Claire and Flora, right? And Claire, we know, was imprisoned because of the sins. And Flora fell down from the tower, losing her glimmer. Which, you guys did clarify. One thing that I was kind of uh, confused about is whether Karen did lose her glimmer or not. Because it seemed like she lost her glimmer. But the girl said that nobody lost their glimmer, right? That Ka Hikari didn't take anyone's glimmer away. But Hikari, you, cl you clarify that Hikari is... Karen's glimmer. So by Hikari leaving Karen, that in turn meant that Karen lost her glimmer. So that's crazy. That's something that Hikari didn't account for. And it was a crazy turn of events. And now Hikari has been trapped in the tower for seven months. So I guess it's time to see if Karen manages to retrieve her and kind of Talk some sense into her. Let's see what happens here. And also, 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 let me say a few more things since we're already here. Uh, the OVA is going to be done in one video. It's going to be tomorrow. Just all three OVAs in one video. It should be fine. Hopefully it's going to be tomorrow. It should be. Uh, and then round, 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 I'm going to watch fully, hopefully on Wednesday. And then the movie. Now, I got a um, suggestion that I should maybe stream it because you guys can backseat me through it. And also, it would probably be pretty fun for you guys to see, like, my unfiltered live reaction. Not that it's much different from how it is right here, but still, I feel like it could be fun. Now, I'm not gonna make any promises yet. I need to check out all of my settings. I need to see if my schedule will align for a stream or not, because there's some conditions that need to be met for it. So, if, every, if all the stars align, then tomorrow in the OVA reaction, I am going to tell you whether or not it's gonna be a stream or not. And I'm going to also post it on Twitter, post it on my community page on YouTube and also on my Patreon. So you guys know whether or not I'm going to be streaming it and I'm going to link my Twitch and everything like that right there. And so maybe if we will stream it, you guys will be notified. Don't worry. So anyways, I guess I don't want to stall too much longer because I am excited but also a bit scared to see what this episode has in store for us. So, without further ado, let's go into Revy Starlight episode 12. Leak? Dakara, sonna kirikata suru natte. What's up, Kauruka? Negi. Nikui ya mo. Pizza delicious. Oishii yo, o negi. Yep, same brain cell. Otashi. Oh no, I can't what happens. Eh. <laughs> How many were there? Wait, 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 wait. Um, that's ten? No, nine. There's two at the bottom. <laughs> okay, that's nine. Okay, that makes sense. So he could use a clue in this. Let's see, Hikari. Is that not opening? Stage of Destiny. This is the Tokyo Tower. Mm. 
私はクレールと運命の出会いをした。私たちずっと昔から一緒だったみたい来年もまたここで会おうこの星祭りの夜にスターライトそれは星の光に導かれる運命物語おーシルクスペース Is that gonna be an opening? Doesn't seem like it. Something's happening. Anata wa dare. Wakara nai. Taisetna mono datta oboe ga aru. Demo. No, Claire forgets everything. Tori modo seru ka mo. 今日は一年に一度の星祭りあの星をつかむことができればクレールの記憶も小さな星を積んだならあなたは小さな幸せを手に入れる大きな星を積んだならあなたは大きな富を手に入れるその両方を積んだならあなたは永遠の願いを手に入れる、okay. But it's a sin, right, to do so. Salvation of sins. Salvation of sins. Damn! Did she fall down the tower? Like Flora did? Wow, the tower was destroyed by the star. そして頭上では永遠に星々が瞬き続けるのだったスターライトこれは遠い星のずっと昔のはるか未来のお話小さな国の小さな村に伝わる夏の星祭り永遠に積み上げては崩されまた繰り返す終わることのない舞台この舞台に必要なきらめきを他人の分まで肩代わりした死せる舞台少女の食材これが彼女の選んだ運命の舞台Do you? Do you really understand? Because I feel like he, the point of Hikari is no one understands her. She's so unpredictable. <laughs> そうでした。えー、サガノカロカテモロタエトウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウヤノウ楽しかったよすごく短い時間だったけど本当に楽しくて大切な時間だったよだからああ
Let's see this. Let's see the confrontation here. Rebuilding the tower. Endlessly. So has she been doing this for the past seven months? It's repeating. また飛び入りですね。いや、いつからも追いたがる。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。7。
セリフが止まる舞台途切れたあああこの星のティアラには何の意味もないフローラとクレールが目指したあの星と同じ運命の舞台へと新たな罪人をいざなうための光さよなら彼。Karen is the best. Man. Karen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Karen is the best. Oh. Review of Star Scenes, Final Chapter, The Starlight Gathering. Review of Star Scenes. Whoa. 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 Here it is, the battle that we've all been waiting for. Oh, this looks stunning. Jibun de Tsukamena Katakara. Kondo a uba otosta. Korokane, Tsumibukai watasno. Ume no butai. Hikari janga Tsumibukai nara. Audition ni sanka sta watasta jitei. Tosai da yo! なぜ私が見ているだけなのかわからないわかります舞台とは演じる者と見る者が揃って成り立つもの演者がたち観客が望む限り続くのです、so、as a, as an audience member? そうあなたが彼女たちを見守り続けてきたように私は途切れさせたくない舞台を愛する観客にして運命の舞台の主催者舞台少女たち永遠の一瞬みほとばしるきらめき<笑>ああ、わざわざ私はそれが見たいのです。Stop staring into my soul! あなたと一緒にわかります。わお共演者も裏方もいない一人で舞台は作れないのにあなたには失う苦しみを味合わせたくなかったもう味わったよだから一緒に帰ろうひかりちゃんノー、ファリンダウンアゲン。ワルフィクリス、ライズガブ。フタリノユメバ、カナワナイノヨ
No, is it actually over? No. I need more of that song. That song was so good. I need more of it. We're going again? ずっと幽閉されてたんだね。私たちの罪を背負って。待ってて、クレール。あなたは取り戻しに行くから。スターライトは必ず別れる悲劇。でもそうじゃなかった結末もあるはず。塔から落ちたけど立ち上がったフロー
私たちの運命の舞台はずっと昔から始まってたひかりちゃんが私の捕まうとした星カレンが私の求めていたスター覚えてるあの約束のこと覚えてるよあの約束のことポジションゼロあーなお待っててクレール今行くから小さな星を積んだならあなたは小さな幸せを手に入れる大きな星を積んだならあなたは大きな富を手に入れるその両方を積んだならあなたは永遠の願いを手に入れるよくぞ真実にたどり着きましたねフローランあなたたちが女神を解放したのです私たちはずっとあなた方を見守ってきました今こそ星がきらめく時星積みは罪の許し星積みは夜の奇跡クレーレフローラ。お持ちなさい。あなたの望んだその星を。見つけたよ私たちの星を見つけたね私たちの運命スターライトこれは運命で結ばれた。9人の舞台少女たちが紡ぐ新しい永遠の物語Um, I feel like this is gonna end up being the shortest Ravi Starlight video because I did not have any time to stop it. This was an absolutely stunning final episode. I, I couldn't, I could not talk over it at all. So I, I just let it play out, and because of that, I feel like this is gonna be the shortest <laughs> episode on the. In the series for me so wow wow what an incredible 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 way to end the series or end season one i should say end the anime tv series and now it's time to move on to the bigger things so it, this felt like an end of like the the end of the story so i have no idea what well i'm guessing ovas are not canon to the story so i'm guessing those do not continue the story there's gonna be something else i have no idea why uh and i don't think you guys need to tell me you guys have been incredible with spoilers by the way you i have not seen a single spoiler so um thank you for that but i wonder what the ovas are gonna be about and then i really really wonder what the final movie is gonna end up being about because i feel like all the plot points that i was wondering about got cleared up um or I feel like it wrapped up really nicely in here. Um, yeah, this was... It just felt like one big review, this episode. And I appreciate the shit out of it. It was so fun. Or I guess it was fun. It was dramatic. It was, it was great. It was great. It was incredible. We finally saw Karen and Hikari. Or it was not so much Karen and Hikari coming to a... Understanding, understanding it was more so Karen just 
pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing until Hikari finally gave in and was forced to reconcile, or not reconcile, but forced to come to Karen's side. And it was absolutely incredible to see. Karen forced a stage that had a predetermined ending to get rid of that ending and make a new one, or continue that ending, I should say, and change that, change a tragedy into a story of hope. And it was absolutely stunning to see. The giraffe as well ended up finally satisfied with the performance after all of the boredom that it endured during Hikari's, or not Hikari's, Nana's reign over many, many continuations, many years. It finally got the excitement that it was hoping to see. And we got some kind of confirmation to who the giraffe is. And that was by the giraffe completely obliterating the fourth wall and saying that it's a, the producer for those stages. So we, as the audience, can watch them because what is a stage without an audience, right? And what a stage did the giraffe create, man. What a beautiful, beautiful stage created by the giraffe and obviously the two most unpredictable girls in in the series with Hikari and Karen being wow just incredible and I would say that Karen was definitely the one that ended up just changing everything it wasn't Hikari was the unpredictable one that pushed Karen to to go this far as, she, as far as she did but at the end of the day it was Karen who ended up breaking the curse of the tragedy that Starlight was supposed to be. Wow. This was my favorite episode. Ah, oh, is it? I feel like I said this every episode, but damn, these episodes just keep getting better and better. I mean, to be fair, episode seven was also incredible, but I feel like this is, no, I, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident in saying that this is my favorite episode of the series. Now, obviously, it may be recency bias, so I wonder how I'm going to feel after, like, two weeks. But I feel like right now, this is my favorite episode of the series. Um, it made me emotional in a way that I can't describe, and I feel like this anime is really good at it. It portrays so many ideas and so many symbolisms that you get emotional without it showing, like, an extremely sad, depressing part. It just shows something, and you feel it. And I can't explain it, but damn, it's good. It's so good. Wow. This was... Man, I'm sad that it's... That it ended. But I am so excited to watch the rest of the things that are out. Now, obviously the OVAs and the second movie are gonna... Or the first movie are gonna be a bit more on... I'm guessing. I don't know what the OVAs are about, but I'm guessing they're gonna be a bit more on the um less lore intensive side since they i'm guessing once again this is pure conjecture on my part i'm guessing they're less story they don't advance the main story and then we are pre i'm preparing my mind for the movie guys as i said i'm gonna let you know whether or not it's gonna end up being a stream i am going to do my hardest to make it a stream i feel like that would be fun with you guys watching it and just I can pause it and then if I'm conf confused about something, you guys can clarify it in real time. I feel like that would be fun. But I cannot promise anything yet. As I said, there are like the stars need to align for me to be able to stream it. So I'm going to do my best to make it possible. And I'll let you know tomorrow when we do the OVA, okay? So I feel like this is as good a space as any to end this video i hope you guys enjoyed it's not over yet we still have a few more videos on raven starlight coming so don't worry if you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow in the ova of raven starlight peace